Can you tell us a little bit about your record that came out last year? I recorded half of it at home, half of it in the studio, and um, it's been really cool to spend the day playing it live with the band. This will be the first, like, document of the live band playing these songs. Can you um, tell us a couple highlights of the songs on this record and the history that you have with them? Yeah, well, at the time when it came out, um, a lot of the songs were really old. Some of them I wrote when I was 16. Um, and then some of them I wrote like that year. Mostly they were old songs because I spent most of my, uh, about 10 years trying to, you know, figure out a way to record an album. Um, kind of playing around, waiting for like a producer or something to come along. And uh, finally, I decided to record it on my own. So by the time we really started working on it, a lot of the songs were kind of old, but I didn't want to like leave them in the past, you know? Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure they got out there. You've played with some of these guys for a little while now, and some of them, some of them more than others. Um, can you tell, talk to, about uh, uh, the history that you and Derek and Al have? I remember meeting Tom at, um, it was at a gym, <laughs> actually, it, that's probably when we first actually talked, but I remember meeting Tom, uh, it was at a Jeanette jam. Oh, wow. And, uh, it was probably, I think it was my first time meeting, like, any, it was probably my first time meeting you, Will, or maybe one of the first times, uh, as well as, like, a lot of people in the Massapequa scene, but I remember Exemption playing, and they, uh, what what is it called? Is it called a wall of death when you have two just groups of yes, people just yeah. charge each other? I remember them doing that uh, <laughs> during the attention set, and Tom like egging it on, and like, <laughs> uh, and I just remember they they blew me away, and I just I, I went up and I met I met them. But uh, I'm trying to think like I, I guess we played like shows together and stuff. I, I think like, my first different like bands on the same. Lineups. You were in a band called uh, is it Loose. Moose Moose. Yeah. Moose Moose, okay. <laughs> and I remember you were playing uh, Mr. Beery's, and we both had, like, the exact same outfit on. <laughs> 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 you gotta this guy. I guess... These guys were awesome. Though. Oh, thanks. I guess, I guess this was after your pink hair and leopard print pants phase, huh? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was a wild man. That was a long... That was high school. <laughs> That's great. It was just a phase, turns out. <laughs> <laughs> And out comes a guy with a guitar by himself, and I said to Sue, no matter what you thought of what we just heard, this guy has to be really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Sue and I would give it up to anybody. And almost at the same time, Tom started in, and we were like, this guy's really good. <laughs> and Tom was giving out a CD, and Sue was like, okay. Yeah. So the fifth one-on-one -on -one show. Uh, Can you actually explain? One-on-one -on -one is one color, one original. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get four people, and they go up and they do one cover, one original. There's usually a theme to it. Second person goes, third person, fourth, and we start over. I think we're at the fifth one, and uh, she was like, get, get some, get some on. You know, so that was kind of the beginning. Yeah, yeah. and a bunch of those. I think yeah. uh, then some of them have themes. I think there was a Smashing Pumpkins one. Smashing mm -hmm. Pumpkins. On that one. Fleetwood Mac. Dylan Show. Johnny, I saw play drums at the Christmas show that I think the B team played. And that you were playing with uh, Lauren Dealman. Bayonets. The Bayonets. Yes. Yeah, was and that, show was, that was incredible. And I remember taking note and being like, I want that drummer. <laughs> and uh, I had to kind of... That was like, sick. I had oh, to kind yeah. of uh, bother him for a while, too, to get him to agree to do it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And um, Jess, we met working... I guess we probably we met, met before Trader before. Joe's. But... Yeah, but we work at Trader Joe's together. Producer Archie, Archie. Uh, Archie. as demanding and as um, uh, as a character Inspired. is to cooperate with his uh, necessary creation. Yes. Uh, the creation. <laughs> yeah. The music, the, the art. How could you not? <laughs> oh my God. I want to work with that. Really? <laughs> I've worked with Phil Spector, and Phil Spector was easier <laughs> than Archie, but... It, He's know. a tough critic, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all love. <laughs> all right, thanks, boys. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>